Hey, sisters. So, I um, am in here trying to paint my bedroom, all that good stuff. But, went to Kroger today. And, um, you know, <laughs> this whole mask thing, besides the scientific shit, okay, that it doesn't fucking work. Doesn't fucking work. Let's not forget that, you know, I have been working hard for the last three years, like really put in the work to heal myself from the sexual trauma of my rape. Like to heal myself. I have been in and out of counseling. I have been medicated. I have been, you know, PTSD, severe anxiety, you name it. Like, worked hard to come off the medicine to to focus on me. So, because I have severe anxiety, because I have PTSD, I am medically exempt from wearing it. And you know what? Every time I put one on, I start fucking hyperventilating. And you know what? I've spent the last fucking 10 years walking through hell. Literally walking through fucking hell. That I'm sorry if for once in my life, because of all this fucking crazy that's going on, I'm going to do what's best for me. Period. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Nobody's had to walk in my shoes. Nobody's had to, you know, deal with the fucking bullshit that I have to try to heal myself, to be able to live a normal life because I felt like so much was taken from me and like I'd never had. And this whole media fucking bullshit about do it for others, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? What about me? I mean, does anybody fucking care about my feelings? What about my fucking feelings? I'm saying this to get to my point. This woman walks up to me and says, I'm just going to tell you, you need to uh, put a mask on. Because my husband got COVID from somebody that didn't have a mask on. And I just looked at her and grinned and said, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Keep on going. And the more I thought about this woman and the fucking audacity to tell me what I needed to do for my body, like, no, 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 and I will, Ugh. and I will, the next time somebody says this to me. I will look them in the face and I will put on my fake little smile. <laughs> the one that I get when I get really angry. <laughs> and I will say, God doesn't like judgment. And if you're a God-fearing person, you shouldn't judge me for what I'm doing. Because you don't know the reason why I choose. I know the risk. I'm high risk with my autoimmune disease. I choose to do what's best for me. Last time I checked, we lived in the United States of America and we have freedom of choice. And now all of a sudden we don't. So, let me just say the next time this happens, I'm going to politely look at them and I'm going to smile really nice. <laughs> so, I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to say, do you want to know why I don't have a mask on? Because I was drugged and raped in my sleep and I have PTSD and I have an anxiety. So, uh, excuse me. God don't like people to judge. God don't like it. And if you don't like the fact that I ain't got a mask on, you need to keep it to yourself. Because we're all trying to get through this fucking crazy. We're all trying to get through it. And I'm at the point. I'm not going to be so nice. I'm done with people being selfish with my life. I'm done with people telling me what I need and don't need to do with my life. I've lived in hell long enough. I ain't going to live there no more. I ain't going to live there no more. And I'm going to start telling everybody the truth when they say it. Because I'm at that point. Black Lilith, she's been fucking activated. <laughs> 
don't have red hair for nothing. Like, <laughs> I may be spiritual and shit, but there's a little thug that's still left up in here, okay? <laughs> now that I've got my ran out. <laughs> oh, the nerve. Like, <sighs> I just have to breathe. Because I've taken a beating, you know, this last year. I am the group that they want people to wear masks for. I am that. My son is that. So, <laughs> people better get it. <laughs> Love ya.